Hello, hello everybody. Welcome in to my Watch Me Wednesday, my first one on YouTube. I am very excited to be doing it on YouTube today. Uh, so welcome on in. I appreciate you all coming here today. Um, I'm hoping by doing uh, the lives on YouTube that I have a little bit of a broader audience because as you know, on Facebook, you need an account, but on YouTube, you don't. So um, I wanted to come live to you on my YouTube channel to see how it all goes and if more people can join in on the fun. So I would love for you to all come join me here on Wednesdays for my lives from here on in. If you could share the video, that would be awesome with your friends. Uh, today I have a fun-filled show. I'm going to actually talk about the quilt behind me and I'm going to talk about the giveaway that I had last week or two weeks ago on my brand new cross stitch and I'm going to tell you which cover you all chose. So I will be announcing the winner of the, or two winners of the new cross stitch pattern. So uh, buckle up and we are in for a cool little ride today. Um, I'm going to talk about first up, I'm going to talk about the pattern behind me, trailblazing. So if you've been following me on my YouTube channel, you probably noticed that I did a bunch of little shorts on uh, how to put together the three simple blocks that comprise the quilt behind me. The quilt behind me is my trailblazing quilt. So this is the pattern and it is a great, fun, easy quilt to create. Uh, it doesn't take long to put together at all. There are three blocks and it's really kind of a matter of how you place your color. You can really make this quilt if you wanted in three different colors or three separate colors. Now I made the quilt behind me in three different, no, I did four, one, two, three, four. I did two different reds, two different golds and one black. So I did five different colors, but you can easily do this in three. So you could do a background if you wanted to do a dark background like I did or a, um, light background, you could do that. And then you could do two different colors. You could do for the smaller arrows or uh, chevrons that you see right here behind me, you could do one color. And for the big, the big um, zigzag, you could do another color. So you can make it really simple. Now on the pattern itself, when you see on my website, you can see that I used a variety of different black prints, a variety of different gold prints, and a variety of, well, I did, just gold and black, but it was a variety of different ones. So it was a little more scrappy uh, on the original cover. Uh, so there was a blend um, and you can do that too. And that's actually how the way the pattern is set up. So uh, you can definitely make it scrappier. Um, it's a great quilt. It measures at 64 and a half by 64 and a half inches. So it's a nice lap size quilt, but super, super simple to make. Great baby gift, great uh, gift for um, anybody really. So I want to show you the three different blocks that this is comprised of. So, um, and I show you in those little tutorials or shorts that I did on YouTube, how to create these blocks. Those tutorials are approximately 90 seconds long where I actually will tell you and show you how to create this. So it's pretty cool. It doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of your time. So you can go back and watch those on my YouTube channel. And I will um, actually put links in the description to those so that you can uh, see that uh, ahead. So this first block is a, as many of you know, it's a flying geese block. And I teach you a little technique on how to make multiple flying geese at one time which is super cool and um, super efficient way to do it. Okay, so that's one block. Okay, so I'm going to just set that up here for now. The other block is an hourglass or a quarter square triangle, depending on what you want to call it. But 
another super simple block and I teach you in the little uh, video tutorial how to create this block and you actually end up making two at a time. So that's really super efficient as well. And they come out super cool. So let me um, zoom in for you. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, let me get me out of the picture and let me zoom in for you a little bit. So you can see. So it comes out really super nice and you get a super join right there. So this is the hourglass. And all these blocks, by the way, um, are made slightly larger than they are supposed to be made and then trimmed down, which is super cool. So, uh, and that, that for all the blocks in this quilt. So if you're looking for something fun and easy and pretty precise, this is a great way to go. And then the last block in it is your square and a square or your diamond in a square, uh, however you want to call it. And this block contains three different colors as well as the hourglass block. So it's these three blocks that make up the trailblazing quilt. And it's all about the layout and how you lay it out and how, so how the colors will go together. And in the pattern, you'll see, uh, all full color graphics. It tells you how many of each you need to make in each colorway and how the layouts go. I made some little notes for myself because I did just uh, five colors here instead of the uh, this one. The original one had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different fabrics in it. So it was the original one was a little more scrappy. So if you want to make it scrappy, you can follow along with these. If you want to do it like I did, you're just going to combine the yardage amounts. Um, and I'll put a link for the pattern in there at, in the description. So I will put a link for um, the pattern. I'll put a link for the little tutorials that I did. Remember, they're only 90 second tutorials. So um, that's really cool. It doesn't take a lot of your time. But the neat thing about this pattern is it goes together in columns too. It doesn't go together in rows. I mean, there are rows, but they're vertical, so they're columns. Um, and there's really no seams to match either when you are joining them together. So super simple. Um, couldn't be easier. It's just a matter of how you're playing with the color in the pattern. Um, I got it quilted. I'm going to switch to the full screen of me now so that you can see. Um, I got it. I quilted it um, actually on today's Wednesday. So I quilted it Monday and I started sewing the binding on. It's not quite done yet. Um, I had some help from my quilt inspectors last night with the binding they were laying on there um, and it kind of helped me out. So I'm hoping to have it all bound and done. Um, it would be nice if it was by this weekend. We'll see. But it doesn't take long because it's not a big quilt. Um, and if you just need something to, you know how sometimes you're either in the middle of a project or near the end of the project and you just need something to keep you going, this is a good one to do it. So. I have some other news too um, about the cross stitch. So it's kind of a little quilt, quilting live slash floss tube live. How does that sound? So last time I did a floss tube video and I introduced to you my very first cross stitch pattern. Now, at the time, the cross stitch pattern was not ready for you to purchase, but it is now. And all because of all of you. You helped me pick out what cover I was going to use for the new cross stitch pattern. So here's the cross stitch pattern. So I'm going to put it down here so you can all see. I'm going to switch to the overhead camera. I'm really excited about this because. I think it's really pretty and I think that you will all enjoy it for those of you who are cross stitchers. So this is my cross stitch pattern now. It's called Twist and Shout and it is 
exactly like my twist and shout quilt pattern. So you can actually make the quilt and you can do the cross stitch. How cool is that, right? So um, my daughter is actually going to be stitching this up. And I can't wait, I get to see her next week. So she's gonna, she's gonna be taking the train out to visit. So she's gonna stitch on the train, which is really cool. But drum roll please. So you know, there were four choices for the cover of this particular pattern. And I went through diligently and I went through all your responses. And the cover that you all picked was cover D. You said it was clean, it was sharp, it wasn't distracting. So um, let me zoom in just a little bit here so you can see just a little bit of the detail on this. And it's available as a PDF download. So um, you can see when I designed the cover, I did kind of like a, um, an Ada cloth on the background. So you can see there's these cro uh, crosses. So it's kind of like the cross stitch fabric that you will see. Nice, clean, white, it's got the name of the pattern, the uh, cross stitch and my business name and what the cross stitch will look like when you are complete. So I'm pretty happy. You guys, um, it, was, it was interesting because I had four choices now and um, four choices of patterns and D, I have the results over here. D was actually the runaway winner. Um, and C was, C was behind it and then A and then B. So if you go back and watch my last Watch Me Wednesday, you'll see the difference. But anyway, your pattern, you can purchase it uh, now, actually. It is up on my site. Um, it comes with a full, um, full chart and also your floss colors that you will need and it's in dmc right now but i am working with aura floss to i have an aura floss conversion so if you want aura floss you will be able to get it and i will put the conversion of what it is if you want to do aura floss um instead of the dmc you can and i will um, be putting that conversion but that all that comes the chart comes in it um, so if you have any questions, by the way, um, just save them to the end and we'll get to the questions. But you can see, I, I also plotted out for you if you want to do 14 count, 16 count, or 18 count. You get all this in a pattern. So that's there for you. And I'll put the link to the pattern. It's on my website for sale now. You can get it today. It's a PDF download. If you go onto my site, which you see there in the corner, cvquiltworks.com, you can go just search twist and shout and it'll come up if you you're having a problem finding it um, but i will put a direct link to it but i'm super super excited about it um i am working on my uh second cross stitch too right now i'm going to be stitching this one out soon i um am still working on a stitch along i'm trying not to i don't know about all of you but i know with quilting I have multiple projects going at one time. So I'm trying to avoid that with cross stitch. Ha, right? I don't know that I'm going to be able to avoid it. I think I'm going to probably be stitching this out soon because I love, um, I love my um, twist and shout pattern. I think you're all going to love the next pattern too, by the way. It's really kind of cool. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Now, I do want to announce who the winners are who get each winner will get a free, free pattern, yay! So I'm just gonna need the email so I can send you the PDF. So the two winners are, and I hope I am gonna pronounce their last names correctly. I will um, comment and reply to your comments on the previous um, Watch Me Wednesday so you know you're the winner. Um, I have two winners, Evelyn, Desjardins, Desjardins, and Connie Ennevold, Ennevold. Um, so you two are the winner of my brand, winners of my brand new pattern. I cannot wait to see you stitch this out. 
I'm so excited about it. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So I'm um, pretty, um, I got a lot of irons in the fire right now, but um, this is one that I'm trying to get done um, by next week um, because I'm sure he's figured it out, but this is for a special person of mine and um, it's, a, it's a gift. Um, and it does make a good gift. So I'm trying to finish this out first. And I'm also trying to do cross stitch at the same time. Um, so, but my daughter is stitching the new cross stitch out. Can't wait to see that. I, I don't know um, how many of you have multiple quilt or cross stitch patterns. And which ones do you have more of? Um, I'm kind of curious. So type it in and let me see what um oh wow i've got quite a few um visitors here yay um so excited to see you all i see your comments thank you for coming hey ann hey deborah lisa joan aloha joan guess what joan i'm gonna be back in your neck of neck of the woods on friday yep i am <laughs> hi linda Hi, Deborah, um, Carol, and Pamela, and Lisa, and Sheila. Hey, so how many, curious, tell me how many quilting projects you have. Let me know, what's your, how many quilting projects do you have? I have a lot, and I have them in different bins. I do have to get to them. I'm finding it harder and harder these days to get to them, only because, um, I'm getting pulled in various directions, um, but hopefully that'll um, calm down a little bit. Um, so, Joe and I will be on your island. <laughs> Yay! Um, Betsy says, let's see, Betsy says, multiple cool patterns. Mm -hmm. How about, have you started cross-stitch, Betsy? If you haven't, we need to get you on the bandwagon. So that would be fun. Um, Lisa and I are doing a stitch along by Satsuma Street. I should have brought that in to show you where I'm at right now. I'm on part two, so I'm actually behind because part four was released. So I'm actually behind on that. Um, only because I was really trying to get this complete, which I've been successful at. And I need to create a label for it as well. Um, but it's, it's, it's pretty much there. I'm not too, too concerned that I will not have this complete. Um, so we'll, we'll see how far I get on that cross stitch, uh, coming up. But anyway, um, I, I want to just tell you all, so let's see, Linda says, hang on, Linda, do you have a question? Linda says, I have many and I still, and am still gone from home. Yeah. See, I feel the same way. Yep. I get it, Linda. I get it. <laughs> Betsy. Is Betsy doing cross-stitch? Betsy says, haven't done cross-stitch for a long time, but you and Lisa have me intrigued. I think, Betsy, you should try and pick it up. It's fun. It's great to do, especially while you're watching TV. Um, I like it. Um, I sit, when I, when I showed my, when I did my last Watch Me Wednesday, I showed a couple things that I use. I have these little, magnifying glasses um, that have a little light that helps when I'm not sitting by the TV. But the, what I have by the TV when I'm sitting by the chair, I have a big uh, daylight and attached to it is this uh, big magnifying glass that I can move right over top of my cross stitch or if I'm hand stitching, I can use it that way too. And it really helps to relieve any strain in my eyes. So it's a great thing to do while you're sitting there watching TV. I do use it for, I use that for the cross stitch. I use that for uh, binding. Um, it's just a matter of trying to keep my quilt inspectors out of the way. Because <laughs> that sometimes hinders it. Anyway, so next week, or not next week, next uh, I won't be doing live next week, but um, I will the following week after that. I'm hoping to be done with my other cross-stitch 
by then my other cross stitch pattern um, and I, I'll be able to share that with you. Joan says, can't cross stitch anymore. I have arthritis in some of my fingers. I love paper piecing, so I hope you can still create patterns. Oh, absolutely, Joan. I'm still, I'm still going to be doing uh, quilt patterns. No, no um, issues there. So yeah. And in fact, I have a few in the works right now, um, as far as even some more online classes too. So stay tuned for that. But those are a little ways off. Oh, and I also have a little, um, little heads up for you too. I got um, some brand new fabric dropped on my door yesterday. It's my fabric line. Um, I can't show you yet. Um, but I have two fabric lines coming out. So there's going to be some new fabric coming your way. So hold on tight. It's really kind of, the, this fabric's really kind of cool. I think you're going to like it. So anyway, so I will see you in two weeks. I'm hoping, like I said, that I will have the other cross stitch pattern done. I'll have this finished. Um, and I'm hoping to get started on something else. And I did do, I will be posting it probably later today or tomorrow, but I did another short for YouTube as well. Another short little 90 second tutorial on piecing a curve. Now I already have one on YouTube for piecing a curve, but this one's 90 seconds. So it's short, sweet, and I think you will enjoy it. So watch out for that. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube uh, channel, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and, and then hitting that bell near the subscribe button because then you will know every time I post a new video and you can go ahead and watch it. So, and if you liked this video or any of my videos, please give them a thumbs up. When you give a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel, that actually puts it out to a lot more people, a lot more quilters, like-minded people, or, or people who are cross-stitchers. It will put it out to a lot more people. So if you could subscribe and give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. Anyway, thank you for joining me today on my debut live on YouTube. And I cannot wait to see you live in two weeks, same place same time, same channel. So have a happy, happy day. Happy quilting, happy stitching, everyone. And I love you. Thanks for spending some time with me. Bye-bye.